Okay, boys and girls, we're back again. Did you ever have a need for a German tank destroyer, but with a Russian bias applied to it? Look no further than the SU-130 PM slash Shashka. Yep, we're here talking about the SU-130, the second tank you earn in the Valor Earn-Up, otherwise known as the Shashka, because the Shashka they did give us, but this is the non-premium version. So, stage 75 of Valor. Right, you get this bad boy for free, and the only difference between the two is that the Shashka has a little tent and canopy on the back of it, making its hitbox slightly bigger. Everybody likes a homeless city on their tanks now. Come on, I, I, I honestly, I honestly like the Shashka. It's got that. It's got a little bit of uh, the uh, bush on the front. It's got a pretty decent gun, and it looks pretty cool, especially with the black hue on it. Well, let's get right down to it. This is basically a Scorpion G with less turret traverse, more alpha, and the, the RNG generator just goes your way more. Yeah, yeah, especially because it is Russian. Um, from my experience playing it, I felt it felt more like a, a Borsig that stood a little bit higher, which is really good because not only is it very maneuverable, it's also got a, it's also got a turret, and it's, it's, it feels a lot like a Borsig as opposed to a, 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 a scorpion, mainly because it doesn't sit as high. So Now, here's a truly rare thing. This is a Russian tank with gun depression at high tiers. Gun depression? It has some gun depression. The exact value is 7 degrees, which is a lot for Russian. Jesus Christ. I, I told you, it, it's a Russian tank with gun depression that isn't a tier 4. <laughs> or KV-2. That's... I didn't notice that. Because it honestly felt like a regular well, Russian tank. The second match I was playing, I was poking a ridge and just blasting holes in tier 9s, and it was just very enjoyable. Yeah. Um, just peeking the nozzle. However, like, having, like, all this kind of, like, these benefits in such a way to these tanks, you know, with, you know, gun depression, there is always one big downside. And what the one big downside to both the Shashka and the SU-130PM is that the Amorak is in the direct ass of the tank. Right? Now, I've yet to be Amorakt or have Amorakt one of these. Not to say that, you know, fire HE and you're going to do it. It's very, very possible. Yeah, you're not wrong. I mean, I, I, from my experience personally, I sat back with this thing most of the time. But when I did get hit while I was trying to, like, I don't know, maybe, like, run away or try to maneuver, it's it gives other people a clear target for where they need to shoot. Especially because, you know, it sticks out so much, especially with that little rear, like, little tail. You know, because that's exactly what the Amorak is. It's just the entire tail. There, of the there thing. really is no guessing when it comes to hitting the Amorak in this thing. You know exactly where it is and what you need to do to get to it. <laughs> exactly. You know, and not to mention, it just well, to mention, it just doesn't. It's paper. Of course, it's going to be paper. It's it's Russian TD. It's going to be sitting in the back of the map. It's more akin to well, a. You a have to scene. remember, you have gun, gun shield. You have four crew members in the way. All these different things that are going to suck up your shell. Why, well, yes, your your commander's head is is technically a shatter sponge. <laughs> yes, in Russian terms, it is an acceptable casualty where they use people for armor. <laughs> Crew is critical to protection of ammunition. Ammunition hard to replace. Crew, we find another. <laughs> exactly. It's great. Um, yeah, so people who bought the Shashka beforehand got a very good taste of what this tank actually is, and that's why it, that's why I don't think it's really worth it, or like it's it shouldn't really be in its position that it is on Valor. Ah, uh, it, it's a good free thing to give that isn't going to screw with game balance too badly, because like you said... It is basically just a different flavor of Borsig or Scorpion G. And plus, the thing's got 360 meters of view range. It's as blind as a fucking Tier 6 Heavy. 
<laughs> a really good tier six. So you are going to need a decent crew with spotting and binoculars it, to make the most of it. Or Higher really good spotters on your team. Higher that, you're going to have to have good a... Good luck with that. A crutch. You're going to have to have, like, one of the even 90s that don't kill themselves. <laughs> you know. You're, you're either dependent on having a very spotting trained crew with binoculars, or your team actually spotting in a way that, you know, allows you to actually take time to aim and fire, <laughs> rather than just, oh shit, there it goes. But the concealment on it is actually very acceptable. Um, considering, like, you know, the, the low silhouette, as well as, you know, if you do set up this crew oh, as a three, four spotting. stationary? Can you throw in a good camo crew with a camo nut? And, you know, you're, you're starting to reach that pretty good TD level, and if you only have your turret peeking over the ridge, you're you're not in a bad spot. You, you're not very a, a very big target either, because, you know, as soon as your turret's just over the hill, really, you're pretty much hidden. So, it's it's kind of like that happy medium between the Scorpion G and the Borsig, you know? It's just that, well, actually, it's a little bit depressed because it's got gun depression. You know what I'm saying? Because Russian tanks are it, usually it's It's kind of like, it's kind of like everything we've gotten in Valor. It's been okay to meh. Meh. Yeah. It's okay to meh. Okay, I'm meh. That seems to be the, the brand of Valor. <clears throat> and hoping, here's the hoping that, you know, they actually make some changes next, uh, coming up, uh, next week for Valor because, you uh, know. Flicking the switch from medium, from heavy to medium on French <laughs> tanks. <laughs> yeah. Really, really put some effort in there. Rebranded the icons. That's, that's. Changed the language. It's really good. <laughs> it's an identity crisis. I didn't think it would spread to World of Tanks, but there you go. You know. And everybody's got to have a midlife crisis, and I guess the French heavies were it. <laughs> the French light heavies. So, I mean, if it's gonna, if 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 they're gonna, you know, change any tanks in Valor, you know, I'd rather I instead of seeing tanks change in Valor, I'd rather see new tanks. You know, because. With no, the occasional change. IS6 needs love. The IS6 is bullshit. You know the IS6 will never get the love it deserves. But they put the fucking Hydra in. They fixed everything the IS6 needed, but they put a price tag in front of it, the fuckers. Well, I mean, they could they, they could do a similar thing to the stockade where they just slap an autoloader on it and consider it done the deal. Yeah, that's pretty fucking cheap, but at least it was easy to earn. The Hydra only has a price tag. Unless, of course, you're being booted from 360 to 1. Yes, then you get it for free. Along with the T-34 block. Fuckers. <laughs> well, I mean, hopefully... That's what you get for hobbling on the same unit for years, damn it. <laughs> I got rewarded for... Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, I think we're falling off the rails a bit here, Derp. I think we should probably wrap this one up. You're right. Well, at any rate, SU-130, yay, nay. I think it's more of a meh at a, at a yay. You know what I'm saying? Good. I'll give it a good. You'll give it a good? All right, I'll give it a meh. I'll give it a good. Okay. Well, you heard it here. Be sure to tune in. Next time we're gonna be talking about the T, the new tier ten, and a K, I think either tier tier nine or tier ten are gonna come next. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, the uh, I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> really good, really good, sir. We'll see y'all on the next video. <laughs> Please check below to submit your clips. <laughs>